So are you saying that the gurus, so to speak, a, a term perhaps yeah, you're using yeah. loosely or literally, but the gurus, the stuff they're going on is that stuff that is waiting to be discovered. They are linking the us. That's method. right. And then I th all working mathematicians discover this. They discover they're not inventing stuff. They are finding out the way things are. It's the same with the laws of physics. You don't invent the laws of physics. You find out what the laws of physics are, and you either get it right or you get it wrong. Yeah. Okay, now, the step which I took with Nancy Murphy and which a whole lot of other philosophers is to say there's also a moral reality. There is out there an ab abstract idea of what is right and what is wrong. It's got nothing to do with any specific culture or time or place. For, so for me, apartheid was wrong. Mm. Not an, it isn't that my culture thought it was, or evolutionary theory thought it is my idea. It is, was wrong, period. Mm. The same is true for the Holocaust. So you're saying morality is discovered, not created? I'm saying that ultimate morality is discovered. The way we understand morality changes, it evolves. And Steven Pinker's written very interesting about this, how our ideas of morality have changed enormously over 2,000 years. We no longer burn people to streets, to death in the streets of Oxford because they don't believe something. Whether we no longer hang, draw, and quarter people in the streets of London like we used to do. Morality has progressed. We don't keep slaves any longer, by and large. And so women have the votes on all sorts of stuff.